ultimatum game with responder competition. The ultimatum game with responder competition is very similar to the traditional ultimatum game. However, as you can see on this slide, the difference is that the proposer faces several responders. The timing is as follows. The proposer is again endowed with an amount of money X and proposes a split. In the second stage, each of the, in this case, three responders observes the offer, the offered split, and can accept or reject it. If at least one of the responders accepts, the money is split between the proposer and one accepting responder. If multiple responders accept the proposer split, then one of these accepting responders is randomly selected. If all responders reject, then all players receive nothing. You see, this game is very similar to the traditional ultimatum game. However, there's one key difference. In the ultimatum game, in the traditional one, the responder could prevent unfair outcomes by rejecting the offered split. Here, however, a single responder cannot prevent an unfair outcome. This is a key difference. Let us again look at the analysis. We start with standard theory. Standard theory tells us outcomes do not differ between the traditional ultimatum game and the ultimatum game with responder competition. In both cases, the proposer can claim almost the entire pie and the responders will get nearly nothing. However, if we look at the empirical findings, we see that proposers demand more if there is competition. So the shares claimed by the proposers is way higher in the modified ultimatum game with responder competition than in the traditional ultimatum game. At the same time, the responders are willing to accept way smaller shares. And as a consequence of this, the second observation, the, the payoff maximizing offer for the proposer is substantially higher in the ultimatum game with responder competition than in the traditional ultimatum game. You can see this on the right hand side of uh, the screen. On the left here, you see the traditional ultimatum game. On the x axis, there is the share claimed by the um, proposer. And on the y axis, you see the average payoff that is connected to. Uh, to the proposal. What you can see is in the traditional ultimatum game, the, the highest um, average payoff is associated with an offer which, is, which claims about 70% of, of the pie. In contrast to this, the payoff maximizing share that is claimed by, by the uh, proposer is way higher. So if you, if you look here, the proposer maximizes um, his average payoff by claiming around 90% of the pie, which is in stark contrast to the traditional ultimatum game. So the key observation here is we did not change, we did not really change the game. It, it was still about splitting the pie, but 
competition has a strong influence on outcomes. So what you can see here is introducing competition yields results, yields observations that are quite close to the predictions of standard theory. So the so standard theory assuming completely selfish subjects can pretty well explain the observed behavior in the modified ultimatum game with responder competition. At the same time, this theory can very poorly explain the observations in the traditional ultimatum game. So you see, competition has a strong influence on outcomes, even if subjects may care about fairness. 